Hey guys, welcome back. Got a special one today that I had to actually, I had to get it out, man. This is happening in my hometown in Moroleon, Guanajuato. Um, there's a big war going on over there with uh, El Mencho's people and El Marro. Uh, it's not good. Uh, if anybody, you know, uh, knows Moroleon and Uriangato, it was it actually used to be a really quiet city. And now, you know, there's a lot of violent shootings, all that stuff that's happening. Let's get into this video. Cartel got me working for the big faces. Federally got my car full of brick cases. Hit the pin with a grin, there ain't no faking. I was picked to my back for my shoelaces. Got out, should have seen the look on they faces. All jealous cause your boy stacking hella paper. Set up by the crew, they done put a banger in the trunk of my car and left me to hang there. No thing, then attorney went and beat the case. Got a job digging holes for minimum wage. Had a dream that Cato said he proud of me. Stay here, don't leave, keep doing your thing. Quit the drugs, but you know what? Went back to selling, six times failing. I went back to prison, got my head right, got my bread right. Push these weights like a kilo in a tailpipe. Trying to do right, I got a mission. Trying to get back to my boys in the prison. The old me's gone, I ain't never gonna miss them. From wrong to strong, stay true to the vision. From wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong, from wrong to, to strong, from wrong to strong. Hey, what's up, JC? Ron Strong. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Hit the bell so you don't miss nothing. Leave a comment. If you are part of my Ron and Strong family, what's up, Raza? Suban Salas Urban. Because we're about to take a road to Moroleon, Guanajuato. And we're going to stop by Uriangato, too. What's up, Raza? So you guys know that there's a big war happening in Guanajuato between El Mencho's people and El Marro. Jose Antonio Ortiz, AKA El Marro, is a drug trafficker and, let me see if I could pronounce this right, Uachicolero, Uachicolero. It means they steal oil and gasoline. That's how they make their money. He is the leader of the Santa Rosa Lima cartel and they got their name because it is a name of a town in Guanajuato. Uh, this, this cartel is actually based out of Guanajuato, born, you know, and, and El Marro be begun his career in like 2010 when he was directing the transfer of drugs and uh, stolen vehicles. The Santa the Santa Rosa de Lima Cartel is a Mexican crime organization from the state of Guanajuato, founded in 2014 and headed by El Güero y El Marro. Marro is like a hammer, okay, in Spanish. They mainly earn their income, like I said, by oil, they, they steal oil. But, you know, the government has put a big bounty on his head and they have been searching for him nonstop. With the government searching for him and the war that he is fighting with El Mencho's pe people for the plaza, they're fighting over the state of Guanajuato to pretty much who runs that. And, you know, I, I explained to you guys in our earlier videos, a plaza is a, like, headquarters for where a, almost like a landing strip where drugs, uh, whatever it is that the organization is doing, it, it is landing there and then from there it takes off to wherever it's going. So it's very, very important to have plazas in the center of Mexico because of all the stuff that's coming up from South America into the northern part of the United States. So they're fighting and it's getting really, really crazy um, I mean, I'm from, my, my family, my dad's from Moroleon, Guanajuato, uh, my mom's from Muriangato, and the, this is a small town that's been very, very Americanized 
for years. I mean, my family, uh, this town is known for selling clothes. They sell, they sell a lot, a lot of clothes. And a lot of people are, are very wealthy in this town. Um, my uh, grandfather actually was one of the founders of this city and his name is actually on the benches in Moro Leon. Um, they own a lot of businesses in that town and I, I grew up there, man. I went to uh, Francisco Madero uh, Grammar School. It's the school that right before, there's like a, a, a street where you cross over and there's like a triangle there and that's when you go into Riangato. It divides Uriangato and Moro Leon. Well, you know, there's a heavy cartel presence there now and they've been so many murders, shootings. It's been crazy because they're, they're fighting for for this plaza and Moro Leon is, is, is one of the main cities where this where there's a lot of presence. The thing is, is that the Santa Rosa Lima cartel is uh, a lot of, you know, young kids because of all the pictures I've seen from my, you know, my uh, friends in Mexico, uh, they're very young and I, I, I want to say they probably are not as trained as uh, El Mencho's people. Um, you know, uh, that's that's the thing in this game. This is why, like when the Setas first uh, came out and started, you know, doing what it, what it is that they, they, they did with taking over, that's why they did so well was because they actually trained all their kids to the fullest pretty much and they and they had an army you know 300 and and plus soldiers uh, if you guys have never seen that uh, series on Amazon premiere it's called zero 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 watch it and you'll get an idea of what that series is based on the setas and how they took over the whole you know trade the drug trade over there with the golf the golf cartel and all that stuff but so all these shootings are happening in Moro Leon and, and, uh, and uh, Uriangato, and Celaya, all the uh, cities, uh, Uriria, around Moro Leon, because they're fighting for the control of this, of this city. They, uh, they released a video with the day before yesterday where El Marro was, you know, asking for, for help because you know, El Mencho's people is, is, is hitting them hard. I mean, they're fighting El Mencho's people and they're fighting the government because the uh, armed forces are out there too looking for him. So it's a double, it's a double attack on him. So he's asking for help. I believe that uh, the Sinaloa cartel is gonna be helping uh, El Marro. I'm not too sure nowadays. It's crazy because a lot of people are teaming up to fight other other cartels that are growing really fast. And then what happens is after they're done helping them, then they start a war with them. It, it's crazy what's happening and it's all because of the money. It's about the drugs, the power, the control, because with all that comes, you know, government control also um, and influence and you know, elections and all that stuff because money, you know, buys all these things. And the reason why this hit home so much for me was because I spent so many years in that town. You know, I went to grammar school there. I went to high school there. My aunt owned one of the movie theaters. There was two movie theaters in Moro Leon, El Cine Avenida, and that was my family's. Uh, I used to go there as a kid to go, you know, watch movies and see my aunt. Um, every summer I was there, you know, every summer I, I got flown out there and it was, it was home for me. Like I said, I went to grammar school, I went to high school um, and it was a very good place for me, you know, and to see all this violence and everything that's happened, it, it's crazy and, it, and it's all because of these drugs and these uh, cartels wanting to have control. Um, I really hope that the violence stops once one of the cartels takes over because that's how that's how it's gonna end. Once once one takes over, that's when the violence ends because then they control the whole thing unless another one comes in trying to take over the plaza again. But once one takes over, that's it, it's done. 
But we'll see. And honestly, I think, and I, you know, and I'm rooting, <laughs> I'm rooting for Guanajuato. But honestly, uh, I think that Omencho is, is a power to be reckoned with right now. The, he has a lot of trained guys, a lot, a lot of high power, you know, artillery, and 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 just sometimes you're overpowered. Now, if these guys get help from a bigger cartel, then they, they will make it. But then they owe that debt to that other cartel. And guess what? eventually they will swallow them up and become them and that's how it happens that's how it happens with gangs that's how it happens with organizations that's how it always happens because if you're not with us you're against us if you're not against us then yeah <laughs> my name's jc i am ron strong remember don't judge nobody stay in your lane live savage Give somebody a hug. And you only have one life to live, but if you live it right, one life is all you need. So remember, stay your ass in school. Don't do drugs. And live hard. Because if you live hard, guess what? Life is going to be easy. Everything easy comes with a big, big bill at the end. And it's not worth it, guys. All right? Stay safe.